Hello, and welcome to Circuits from the Lab. I'm Harvey from the Systems Development Group, and today I'll be sharing with you one of our latest hardware and software developments allowing IMU data to be directly streamed to MATLAB. So, let's begin. Accelerometers, gyroscopes, magnetometers. Inertial measurement units, or IMUs, play an important role in applications where precise motion detection is vital and indispensable. With its rapidly increasing demand in different fields of application, the complexity of prototyping systems with integrated IMUs have greatly increased as well. Not only do you need to have a fully featured software API to communicate with, but you also need to have the processing power and hardware flexibility to use the IMU products in the applications you intend. This is now easier than ever by leveraging the Linux IIO subsystem infrastructure along with easy to obtain standard hardware platforms capable of processing, analyzing, and decision making in real time. With the ADI Kuiper Linux system running on Raspberry Pi, together with our recently developed IMU to Raspberry Pi interposer board, the EVIL ADIS IMU1 RPI-Z, streaming and real-time processing of data is now made possible. For the hardware setup, start by mounting your IMU to the interposer board. You may refer to the user guide of the board for the compatible IMUs as well as the mounting holes to be used, or you may also refer to the unboxing video for an in-depth discussion. Upon mounting, simply attach the interposer board to the Raspberry Pi and you're good to go. Moving on, let us now configure the Raspberry Pi board. There are three simple steps to configure your Raspberry Pi. First, you will need to etch the ADI Kuiper Linux image into an SD card. You may download the image using the provided link, which also contains a guide on how to perform the next step, which is configuring the overlay file to be used. In the boot folder, there exists a text file config.txt which contains the general configuration of the Raspberry Pi. Edit the DT overlay parameter and specify the IMU that you will be using. Lastly, reboot the Raspberry Pi to apply the changes you made to the system. The Kuiper Linux system already has a pre-installed IIO oscilloscope that enables simple plotting and parsing of data. Now let's take this data and move it into MATLAB. For the meantime, Take note of the Raspberry Pi's IP address as we will be using this information in MATLAB later on. You might ask, why MATLAB? Well, MATLAB is a high-performance language for technical computing. It integrates computation, visualization, and programming in a single environment. Aside from utilizing a high-level programming language, MATLAB provides an excellent working environment and is capable of not just 2D but 3D presentation of data, has enhanced computing capability, and lastly, the API feature allowing it to communicate with other software. Now let's move on to the software requirements. For the host PC, aside from MATLAB, we also need to install libIIO. libIIO is a library that abstracts the low-level details of the hardware and provides a simple yet complete programming interface that can be used for advanced projects. Here we can see that the data is actually streamed from the Raspberry Pi to the host PC. MATLAB then taps to this stream of data using its sensor-specific API functions. Going back, note that MATLAB requires a license before it can be installed and used. You may consult with the MATWORKS website for more information. After getting MATLAB, Install the following toolboxes from the Add-ons Explorer at the top right toolbar under the Home tab. Note that the ADI Sensor Toolbox is currently only compatible with MATLAB R2020A. Inside the Sensor Toolbox are the sensor-specific classes that are currently being supported. These classes contain the IMU-specific commands as well as other relevant information like the IMU data channels. Upon installation, we are now ready to stream data into MATLAB. Make sure that the Raspberry Pi and the host PC are connected to the same network. After that, there are only three simple steps that we need to follow. First, we need to instantiate a sensor object. I will be using the ADIS-16480 in the demo later, an IMU with tri-axial accelerometer, gyroscope, and magnetometer. Next, 
we configure the object parameters. There are default values assigned to an object, and the only parameter that we are required to set is the URI, which should match the Raspberry Pi's IP address. For this demo, we will only be utilizing the accelerometer and gyro readings. Hence, we will limit the data channels that we will be reading. Also, let's minimize the number of samples per read for easier data viewing. Lastly, we can now parse data from the IMU using the read command. Currently, the hardware setup is stationary so we should be able to get a good approximation of the gravitational acceleration and get near zero readings for the other acceleration data as well as the gyro data. Again, we start by instantiating a sensor object. We then specify the IP address that we will be reading. As mentioned earlier, we will only be utilizing the accelerometer and gyro data. Also, we will be minimizing the samples per read for this demo. There, we have successfully streamed data to MATLAB. As expected, here we can see a very close approximation of the gravitational acceleration and near zero readings for the other data channels. Now let's try running the sample scripts in the sensor toolbox. For our first sample script, we will be reading acceleration and gyro data in order to estimate the orientation of the IMU. So, let's run the script. Shown in figures 1 and 2 is a 2D presentation of the raw acceleration and gyro readings. On the other hand, figure 3 shows an orientation estimation based on the acceleration and gyro data. Unless you've been working with IMUs for quite a long time, interpreting 2D orientation information can be quite difficult. So let's move on to our next example. In this sample script, we will be using a 3D graphic to present the estimated orientation based on the acceleration and gyro data. So let's begin. The setup starts from rest and begins to rotate clockwise. It can be seen that these movements are well reflected in our MATLAB graphic. There, with this application, streaming and real-time processing of data into MATLAB is now easily possible for many IMUs. This offers enhanced computing capability, 2D and 3D presentation of data, as well as remote access to device data. If you are interested in this application, please do not hesitate to reach out to our group. You may raise concerns at ADI's Engineer Zone, and for more information, you may visit analog.com slash cftl. See you in our next videos.